Hello my sexy muffins and welcome to another video. Today is August 3rd or it's around that whenever I get this published and it is been a year or almost a year or over a year since I stopped smoking last year and August 8th I mean not August 8th sorry I was thinking month August 3rd 2021 I quit smoking cold turkey. Now you probably think that's no big deal. For me, it is a big deal because I started smoking at 13. This year, I'm turning 27. So between 13 and 26, I smoked that whole time. At for the first three years, 13 to 16, it was only a couple cigarettes a day, slowly getting bigger and bigger. By 16 to 26, it was a pack a day, every single day. Well, almost give or take a few or skip a few days if I went to the dentist and didn't want to get a dry socket. So why did I quit smoking? Well, because I have a heart condition. It's POTS. I don't know what it stands for. Sorry, I'm a little dazed because I haven't slept. It's been over 24 hours. Oh, since I slept, I thought I would make this video while I have the time. Anyways, so... Basically, my heart is usually, was one of the words I'm looking for, it's where my heart doesn't pump correctly, basically. It pumps at a rapid speed, which gives me a high blood pressure, but it's not circulating through my veins because they don't constrict and unconstrict properly clog in the blood and not letting it get to the organs that needs to like the heart brain etc so i'm on medication for that so it circulates better apparently when i sleep my my body's like okay everything is good but as soon as i wake up that constriction starts happening in the and the blood starts pumping really fast where i get lightheaded dizzy because i'm it's pumping so fast but it ain't going anywhere basically that's the gist of it I also have other heart issues with stress and stuff that could cause me to have a heart attack. So it's a double standard where I can't really do a lot of stuff. And when I'm not having this blood pumping so fast be, and getting really high blood pressure, beats per minute and everything, uh, I am basically very low blood pressure to the point where I look like I could drop dead. And I have before. I First time I ever passed out because of this condition, I was 15, I believe. I was in the juvenile home. And I passed out right on the... Uh, while we were related in line. It was probably stress-related, making my blood pump faster and faster and faster. And then it wasn't constricting. And my brain and uh lungs and such and heart wasn't getting blood so i went as white as a piece of paper and i'm talking a school piece of paper legit they were considering getting an ambulance to take me to the er and also this can happen you can get these dizzy spells and white as a ghost white as a ghost when you don't eat enough salt when you're on pots actually my cardiac doctor which i won't say his name uh told me that i would need more salt in my diet Great pickles because no sugars in some pickle brand pickle brands and a shootload of salt. So why am I bringing this up? Because it is a good accomplishment and I wanted to congratulate myself. You guys don't have to do it for me, but I just feel accomplished because I quit cold turkey. I finished the last few cigarettes in my box and then on the third, I quit cold turkey. No patches, no nicotine gum, no nothing. Just cold turkey. And I was really proud of myself. But now we have a problem. I am addicted to soda. Sugary soda. A.K.A. Pepsi. Baja Blast. And mixed drink of Mountain Dew, Sprite, and Powerade. Berry mix. You know, the dark blue kind. Yeah. So, which I call an incredible hulk. So the incredible hulk is the mix of the Mountain Dew, Sprite, and Powerade. Just so you know. So, that is really sucky because I love those and they're harder to quit for me than cigarettes, as you can probably tell from 
the video that quitting these sugary pops, I've been struggling with it for over seven months. And I still haven't quit. But and after I figured out I had a heart condition after the test came back, I literally smoked it uh, the last pack of cigarettes in a couple of days and then bought no more. And yeah, you can just say, don't buy the pop. I break down. I'm a weak bee. I'm a weak witchy bee. And I have a problem. Honestly, I thought the cigarettes would be harder. But and it's not just sugar that I'm... I'm addicted to because I've cut out ice cream. I cut out cookies, cakes. I've cut out all that stuff. The only things I have an addiction to now are chips because I have the munchies and I have to eat salt contact so that's easy so I don't have to cook a whole meal or throw something in the microwave and it's super salty and easy right then and there, you know? And it's instead of not being canned food, which is highly processed, but full of salt. So I try to do that. That's where the chip addiction comes from. The pop, that is the beast I'm worried about. Anyways, so I am now going to be 20, turning 27 this month. God, I'm almost 30. And I thought I'd check in on my men, how my health is going. My mental health is in the shitter. I'm more manic. I'm more depressed. I'm going from mania to depression. I'm either on the energy of sleep is for the week or God, I'm going to pass out. From being so tired. And yeah. So I'm trying to take better steps. I'm drinking more water. I'm going out for more walks. I'm running with the dogs to give them exercise. And give me exercise. But. Sometimes I think it's not enough. And I know it's not enough. Because I'm a chubby bitch. Actually I'm morbidly obese. By the standards of. But that is way out late to date. Because let's. Uh, some girls that are certain heights have to be over a, under a hundred and ten under a hundred and ten pounds. Certain heights and such, you put boobs and breasts and all that those body parts in that factor nowadays with hormones and stuff. There's almost no girls that skinny, and if they are. It's probably because they have a high metabolism and they're younger. You get women that are starting to lose that high metabolism and stuff. Unless they have a personal trainer, they're not going to be that skinny. So we really need to change that weight index of what should be average weight. Because most Americans are chubbier than their overweight thing, things. And it's saying you're just morbidly obese makes you feel bad about yourself more. So and eat more. I know I'm morbidly obese, but when my doctor tells me that, I feel like I'm the ugliest person alive. And I know I'm the ugliest person alive when I hear that stuff. So, like, no. And, for example, I have a friend who lives in New York who is a curvy-bodied woman. Big boobs, thick hips, big ass. Hourglass-type shape. She is 4'9", so she is supposed to be over under 110 pounds. You know what 110 pounds is with guys usually? 12-year-old boys are usually 110 pounds nowadays. I won't get into any more details because she probably doesn't want me to talk about it. But, yeah. Yeah. Take that into factors that... A 12-year-old boy is equivalent of an adult woman. And this goes for, like, it, you know those people that's, that when your doctor says you have to be under this certain amount of pound? Look at how what kids that size are and how many, on average, are that size and how small you have to be. That is legit what a 4'9 woman has to be. 110 pounds. As an adult. There's something wrong with that. And that's. The, I'm not going to get into it anymore. Anyways. I am turning 27 this year. The big 2 and 7. I'm almost 30. God I'm almost 30. 
Anyways, I will do a video on that. My birthday is August 25th. I will try to do a video out on that birthday. I might just take some time to be with my mom and sister one of those days around my birthday. Or just be with my friend on my birthday and enjoy myself during that time. Anyways, so quit smoking and quitting drinking pop is actually harder for than quitting smoking for me. Like shit anyways i hope you all enjoyed this video and if there is something else you want to see me talk about that is a topic of society or politics or whatever or just like karen's or any just topic memes such uh comment them below and stay sexy on my sexy muffins Bye bye